find z1, z2 using trigonometric form for z1 equals 2 square root of 3 plus 2i and z2 equals 3 plus 3i square root of 3. Well, in order to do this, I need to do what? I'm going to have to find the absolute value for each one of these. So the absolute value of z1 will equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared. In our case, a and b are what? Well, a is 2 square root of 3 squared plus 2 squared. And when I do that calculation, I get the square root of 12 plus 4, which is 16. So my answer is just 4. Now what about for z2? So z2 is again still going to be a squared plus b squared. And this time a is what? a is 3 squared plus 3 square root of 3. Well, that looks funky. Let's try that again. 3 square root of 3 squared. And when I multiply that out, I get the square root of 9 plus 27, which is just going to be 6. So how am I going to proceed from here? Well, I know that this one on the z1 is actually the point a, b. So I've got 2 square root of 3 comma 2. And I know that a equals r cosine theta. So a is going to be what? Well, a is 2 square root of 3 equals, we just found r, which is 4, and then I have cosine theta. So I'm going to get the square root of 3 over 2 equals cosine of theta. So for what angle do I obtain the square root of 3? Well, I do that with 30 degrees. And then over here, I'm going to do the same kind of thing. My point is a, b. So I need to do a equals r cosine of theta, which tells me I have 3 equals 6 cosine theta. So I get 1 half equals cosine of theta. And what angle gives me 1 half? Well, that's 60 degrees. So now what we're going to do is we're going to have to plug these into our equations. So I'm going to clear the board, and then we're going to do that. So I preserve the information that we have already obtained over here in the upper right-hand corner. So how are we actually going to use this? Well, remember, we need to plug in for each one of our z1 and z2 into the formula to write the actual trigonometric form. So for z1, that's going to give me 4 times the cosine of 30 degrees plus I sine 30 degrees. And I need to solve that. Well, I can't, right, because I do z1 times z2, so I've got to figure out what is z2. Well, same thing. We got 6 for r, and then we have cosine of 60 plus i sine of 60. Now maybe we can do something, because remember the ultimate goal is to get z1, z2, which we know now is r1 times r2, so 4 times 6 parentheses, and then I'm going to do the cosine of adding the two together, so 30 plus 60, plus I sine, again I'm going to add them, so 30 plus 60, and then I want to simplify, so that's going to give me 24 times the cosine of 90 plus I sine of 90, and now I actually need to apply the values. So what is the cosine of 90? Well, it's 0. Plus, what is the sine of 90? It's 1. So when I add everything together, I'm going to get 24i.